This is a fully digital workflow for Zest locators where you can select locator height, design a locator fixed restoration or locator overdenture in one seamless workflow and even print a model to pick up the housing in the end. ExoCAD 3.2 Elvesina has an amazing new feature that lets you incorporate locator attachment in your denture workflow. Those are stock abutment libraries and custom abutments and tie bases won't show up here. You will need the denture module for this workflow. And if you're looking to upgrade your license to ExoCAD 3.2 or add modules to your existing license, I will leave a link to a great ExoCAD reseller in the description. The workflow is based on DES iOS scan flags and I will leave the links to DES and Zest in the description. When selecting the T's where the locators are positioned, you need to click on one of the T's and then select the new feature on ball attachment. Make sure the production method materials are still the same since that could cause an issue in the workflow. Select the scan body mode, meaning either you have a separate scan flex scan or you have scan flex in the preparation scan. Make sure you only change that for one tooth. For the other locator sites, click on the T's to assign locators while holding the control on the keyboard. I wish ExoCAD 3.2 would highlight these selected T's in a different color for better visualization. Zest has its own locator cap libraries, but it does not come with model analogs and you have to have locators already in place and scan them with an iOS or desktop scanner. I created a fully digital workflow based on DES iOS scan flag, since those have the same shape for every implant system. A clinician can submit an iOS scan while the lab can pick the perfect height for each locator site and design the restoration right away. The locators from Zest will ship to you while the printed and mill parts are getting assembled at the lab. That will save time and will cut your turnaround time basically in half. Locator height is determined by tissue depth. The cuff height of the locator represents the tissue height while 1.5 mm is added to the locators so it sits right above the tissue. All denture workflows require model analysis and you can watch a detailed description of my other denture videos. I got a lot of requests for the antagonist disc so I added it to my Patreon shop where you can also download the new locator iOS library. I will also put a link to Zest's original cap library in the description. When placing denture tees, I usually go to presets because all the tees are nicely lined up. ExoCAD has a couple of denture tees libraries already preloaded, but you can download more for free on the ExoCAD website under Denture Tools Library. Download all will get you the entire array of denture tees except of Ivoclar. You must purchase a special license from Ivoclar. Favorite one from Ivoclar are the Fenaris tees because I like them because of the texture and the anatomy of the tees. In the chain mode, just drag the tees into the desired position and make sure the locator housings are either under the tees or more towards the link. I will be designing a locator fixed denture tool. This is basically an all on four restoration retained by locators. This new system was developed by Zest and you need at least four fully OSI integrated implants. The AP spread is listed for 1x for regular bytes and 0.5x for Bruxes. The more implants are placed, the more you need to combine and match the new housing male parts Zest developed for these locator fixed procedures. Usually I print the base out of Lucid 10 189 and mill the tees out of PMMA, but you can also mill the base out of a pink disc. I found it more aesthetic looking, but it's also more time consuming because of the long milling time. Very important is to clean up parts of the tissue that are not connected with the main tissue design. If you have some floaters, they will usually cause some errors during the adaptation step. The tees are getting separated from the base. I fill up some thin spots with the adding tool and smooth out the areas around the teeth while holding the shift key on the key. Locator fixed restoration requires the same attention to detail at the basal surface as all on X cases made of zirconia, for example. 
This means the basal surface must be convex and not concave. Unlike locator dentures, where the patient can remove and clean the dentures themselves, locator fixed restoration can only be removed by the dentist using a special tool. To smooth out the basal surface, we must switch to expert mode, right click on the tissue part and choose Merge from the menu. On the bottom menu in the expert mode, we can select Freeform Adapt Base and uncheck Keep Bottom and Boundary Fixed. Be aware that this will modify and alter also the spacing for the housing pick. So we have to be very careful when smoothing out the sharp areas. I usually use a smaller diameter brush with medium intensity. Flattening smoothening can easily change the fit of the housing space. I would rather grind on the tissue portion in the post-production steps than having issues with the housing not fitting correctly, especially when you send the restoration out to a clinician to pick up the house. The design outcome contains two parts, the pink base with spaces for the teeth and the teeth connected into one piece, which can be milled or also printed. All of this get looted together later on with some special material. If you make the abutments visible in ExoCAD 3.2, you can easily spot areas where the spacers for the housing was modified too much and the pink is bleeding through the housing. We can go back into Freeform Adapt Base, select a small size brush and subtract or modify the area while holding the Shift key on the keyboard. That will ensure that the housing fits perfect. The great thing about this new library is that you can also print a model. All model analogs are based on dash narrow or regular sized analog and will work for any implant system. Under model type, you can choose drain holes for implant analogs or you can even add a soft tissue. I'm explaining model design in all of my other videos, so feel free to watch those. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. Please don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, I would appreciate if you leave them down in the comment section. Again, please look at the shop on my Patreon page where you can find many, many more modules, step-by-step -step instructions, the library for download and other cool things. Until then, stay tuned.